Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group weekly update for the week ending December the 31st, 2021. Happy New Year wishes to all of you and yours from all of us, myself, Jared, and the entire Asset Guidance Group family. Uh, we wish all of you the best of the New Year's weekend. Hope you have a restful weekend, a fun weekend, as we close out a wonderful year that was 2021 with all of its challenges and look forward to banging into 2022. All right, let's look at what happened, uh, what, what ended up uh, happening this week. We hit some new highs in the S&P 500, some profit taking uh, as uh, the stocks uh, closed out the year. Uh, over 70 record highs, it's just uh, for the year, it was, it was phenomenal. But 2022, we'll see if it carries into there. So let's look at some thoughts about 2022. Okay, challenges that we have right now are this rally could probably the data the technicals look like this could probably extend two to four weeks then we get into the earnings seasons okay from from q for q4 21 and those would be anticipated to do well so you know where do we go from there as we get into the uh, people start getting a clear read on the fomc and the rate hikes okay that's going to be critical so we're looking at earnings for q4 against the rate hikes that are are known to we're, we're looking for in 2022 and that's where we see what's going on so the market's going to have to prove itself again we've got some headways a lot of indicators are up against resistance points for various uh, various broad sectors uh indexes uh, uh russell uh, components, uh, uh, large components, uh, the particular uh, sector components uh, are up against uh, resistance levels as we go in. So what does it take to get through that? It takes earnings, it takes performance, it takes fundamentals uh, to go in there. And then as we peek through this Omicron uh, uh, surge and get that whole uh, issue of the pandemic starting to move into the past uh, as it becomes endemic to our society and we just uh, learn how to live with this thing and move on uh, into uh, this brave new world that we're entering into okay so that's that particular arena we're looking for the next you know some very positive moves the next two to four weeks uh, and then and then uh, the market needs to prove itself and so uh, there, are, there are indications of consolidation that I've been talking about for a week or two now in the email. And, uh, and, and it just depends, uh, you know, we're looking for probably a big move after, after, that, after, after things prove out, uh, the economic indicators prove out, looking for a big move. Hopefully it's still on the way up. We'll see. Uh, what eyes that we, uh, sectors that we have our eyes on are finance retail and wholesale, multi-sector conglomerates, and then construction followed by transportation. Okay, these supply chain issues still have to be resolved and still have to uh, uh, work into 2022. So that's where we're at. Now, industries within those building products, okay? And, and, and in terms of building products, look to mobile homes and RVs still. That seems to be uh, that seems to be the hot ticket right now. Retail, you get you know your regional department stores, electronics, Walmart. Walmart's twenty one out of every four dollars that Walmart earned in twenty twenty one was was uh, due to online sales and pickup. Uh, you know, so so you you buy it online and then you go to the store and 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 pick up uh, that type of delivery, curbside pickup. That's one out of every four. Uh, dollars that Walmart made in 2021. Electronics and then building products. Okay, that's going to be our top ones. Uh, computers, semiconductors. Semiconductors are still vulnerable to supply chain issues. So that brings in the inflation topic uh, begin to the, to the forefront again as we go into 2022. And uh, that's something that we're going to have to work through uh, in terms of stickiness of prices in certain areas, looks like uh, generally $15 an hour is going to be the wages as to starting out with going forward. So <clears throat> there are some indications that if we get the supply chain issues worked out within the next year or two, that, that the inflation should abate. <clears throat> Time will tell, right? So the issue then going forward 
as we manage money and as we uh, teach planning and retirement planning for people is to how to guard the downside protection. That's why we're looking at alternative investments. We're looking at hedged protection for downside move, yet still being able to, to uh, capture reasonable rates of return on the upside. Those can comp comprise you know, up to 40, 50% of your portfolio and allow you, because you've got some buffered protection on the downside, or if you have, in, in many cases, uh, uh, absolute protection uh, on the downside, that frees you up to take more risk on the equities portion of your portfolio than what you would normally take. And that allows you to uh, maybe get engaged in more frequent trading and more exposure uh, to, to risk assets than you would. Uh, close out the, the discussion this year based because crypto uh, is something that simply is now just like it's becoming endemic, just like the just like the uh, the Omicron and the Delta variants of the COVID nineteen, just endemic into the society now. Uh, uh, where whether that translates into uh, viable asset classes moving forward is something that again time will tell. And then there's going to be consolidation within that industry also. There's about fifty different coins out there right now. So bottom line is. What do you pay taxes with, okay? Will a central bank accept Bitcoin or any of its equivalents or some reasonable facsimile thereof as payment for your tax liability? And until they do that, you continue to look at the strength of the dollar as the fiat currency and make your decisions accordingly. And the remainder of those uh, asset classes seem to be just following the markets, okay? If they are an asset class, which was what they're becoming. They seem to just be hanging on uh, to the movements of the rest of the markets at large and not a hedge at all. All right, that'll put a wrap on it for this year. Have a wonderful holiday season and we'll be looking forward to getting back in the groove. Full work period starting next week and moving forward through this Omicron surge. Stay strong, stay happy, stay healthy. We'll be looking forward to meeting many of you face-to-face -face during our classes uh, as we get back into the swing of things uh, in January. All right, see you next time.